What's up, guys? All right, finally got it going. It's having some issues there. Here's the new little puppy. Let me get a few things set up. It's been a while. A little bit of music. some reason TikTok was being weird all right change the background up Hey there, Chris Barrett. What's up? Jack it up. Is he not just the most adorable? He is, isn't he? Okay. I don't know why, but it was not letting me in go on TikTok, which is weird. Okay, there we go. This is Samael. I can't believe how big he's gotten just in like the past week. I've only had him two weeks, but man, feels like he was so much tinier. He's still so small though. So small. Zinni's not doing so hot, so, yeah. <sighs> I debated whether or not to wait until Zinni was gone or just get him now. <laughs> the opportunities came up, though, and I decided to get him before Zinni died. Because I felt like her dying would be too much for me to handle without another dog. <laughs> so, I got him. Um, and they get along really well, so it works. He is a cutie on Darth Juan. Hello there, Bunny Don. What's up, guys? Hi. Hi. Oh yeah. You want 
what do you want? You want a little something? Mm. Let's give you this. He's pretty cute with him. He likes this squirrel. It's just the right size for him to hump. He likes dominating that squirrel. Actually, is this a squirrel? I actually don't know what this is. Maybe it's a raccoon. Maybe it's a raccoon. Can't tell. Yeah? <laughs> he just wants to play nonstop. Then he'll pass out. Then he wants to play nonstop. And he likes chewing on everything. We're biting it. I think I've almost got him to stop going after my hair. He was just like nonstop getting my hair. Right, buddy? <laughs> yeah. I didn't plan on playing any games. I was just on here to chill and chat. I have been playing Dave the Diver though. Oh my god. I've gotten obsessed with that game. Oh no! You dropped it! Fucking Dave the Diver, man. That game is ridiculously good. strong enough to squeak so he likes this one but he squeaked it so much that the squeaker is almost dead I can tell it's the only one he can do though and he's so proud of himself so proud Okay, there we go. There we go. You're gonna let him do that to you? Dude, you're just gonna let him do that? What are you doing? Get him. <laughs> He's just letting him do it. he doing? I'm so confused.
You little weirdo. Such a little weirdo. Hair. Whew, man. What's the puppy name? Samael. Trying to get the microphone. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Little puppy kisses. This face, man. This face. Look at this face. <laughs> your eyes are a little goobery. You can get your little goober eyes. There we go. I got your little goober eyes. Just lets me do whatever. Everything is new to him. He's just along for the ride. He is, uh, 10 weeks. Is he 10 weeks? Or is he over 10 weeks now? Let's see. He was eight weeks on the 20th. That's when I got him. So he's like 10 and a half weeks, I guess. He does love just being carried everywhere. Hi there, William Walters. Hi. Oh yeah? Put your paw on me? <laughs> he still can't do stairs yet. He's still just, he won't even go downstairs. Even small ones, they're too scary for him still, I guess. He thinks he can't do it. He can definitely, he could do stairs if he tried. He just hasn't worked up the courage for it yet, I guess.
I know he'd be fine on the fall. He fell off my bed one time while he was on there being a little klutz. It was like not long after I got him either. And my bed's high. <laughs> I was so... <laughs> he was fine though. I was so worried. He was even tinier then. But... He's a bit bigger now, so... I'm really surprised he hasn't started doing stairs yet. It's gonna be any day now. It's gotta be. Any day now. What, you want the drink? That's what you want? Is that what you want? I love him so much, <laughs> so much. There we go. Okay. What does the other dog think of him? Uh, they get along surprisingly well. I was worried they wouldn't. But I have some ridiculous pictures of that. He's actually like legit obsessed with her, my other dog. Which sometimes is really nice. Well, okay. A lot of time it's really nice, but it also can be a little annoying since <laughs> I'm like, why do you why are you so obsessed with her? You should be more obsessed with me. <laughs> but let me see here. Let's see if I can get a good It's kind of hard to tell what's... That one's cute. Okay. There. You can see it. He's always in the bed with her. She has a cone on, my other dog.
And this is how he sleeps next to my other dog. Let me get it in focus. There we go. It's kind of hard to tell what's happening there, but adds him on his back. Come on, focus. Him on his back right next to my other dog. I don't know why that one wouldn't focus. She has a cone on and he likes hanging out inside her cone. There we go. That's him. Inside my other dog's cone. And you can see her just looking at it like, okay. <laughs> I'm okay with this. Thank you. Hey, cutie. to sleep. Mm. Sleepy time! No, you're not sleepy. Are you, little teddy bear? so small. I weighed him today and he's two pounds bigger than he was. Oh, Prince Adam. Hello there. Has been quite a while. So. So let's get some questions. Let's see. You sent me a message? I haven't got, gotten a message from you, Prince Adam, that I am aware of. Where did you send it? The only places that I typically get them or read them are Discord and really just Discord, I guess. Because <laughs> every other platform like filters them out. Worried that I left to a different channel. Oh, you mean like a different service streamer? I stream on all of them. 
so, you know. If I'm streaming, I might as well stream too. All of them. Hey, Autumn Fall. Been a while. Twitter. Oh. Yeah, I don't like... Sometimes... It's called X now, though. Come on. What the fuck is that? Like... X? Hmm. I don't see anything on Twitter either. Oh yeah, you're gonna sleep right there. Is that the spot, huh? Just like that. Oh my god. I need another drink. Go get me one. Go. Go get it. You go by Dark Knight on Twitter. I see. Maybe I did get one. You don't mean Snapchat, do you? to be a dark night on Twitch. Changed it. I see. I'm glad someone missed me. Eh. I didn't think anyone would. Man, have I been busy, though. Holy shit. It's been crazy.
I decided I needed to stop streaming to focus completely on remodeling the house and stuff. So I went hard on that and I learned so much shit. Oh my God. I've done all of it now. I've almost remodeled the entire house by myself and I had to learn it all, get tools. Like I did, you should see the fucking kitchen. I did this for like 500 bucks, I'm not even kidding, or less. Really, most of the money was in the fridge. Everything, even that was only 400. Got everything used or secondhand, all the building materials, and like, uh, I paid uh, let's see. I mean, yeah, everything I got secondhand. Or there's a place called Second Chance here. That's like used building. Or not used, like, yeah, used or donated building supplies. And so I got so much from there and stuff. Let me show you this. This picture's before I had it grouted. And I had it grouted now, but it's still still good. Alright, we'll grab this one, and then let me grab another pick. Let me grab one of these here. that one and then okay okay here we go not cheap to remodel your kitchen was 8k that's that's low that's cheap damn i mean compare like my parents did redid their kitchen it wasn't even that it like nice and theirs was forty thousand. i got quotes on a lot of stuff too and that's why I decided to do it myself like just one bathroom remodel I think the lowest I got was like 18,000 ridiculous fucking ridiculous Okay, let me pull these suckers up. Okay, okay. Let me see if I can... Wow, how did those fit in per that were perfect. Alright, let's see. Alright. So that was before. And this was like before too. The destruction. And then this 
is after I did it for like legit like I, I mean the fridge was 400 but aside from that like under 500 bucks for everything I refloored the entire place I got this sink combo second chance that was like 20 bucks I tiled all myself painted I, I tore out the cabinets rebuilt them and put in a dishwasher you know so much better I'm gonna do the outlets here as soon as they arrive that's gonna be next because the outlets suck so I got the stuff to just rewire them and put in nice outlets there that are and nice covers so yeah all that for 400 bucks just took learning some new skills and time Where'd the other one go That kitchen was so ugly, Jesus. That picture is flattering too, believe me. This is a flattering picture that taken by the real estate agent. Like these counters were, all of it was just so, ugh. Everything was, like there was burn marks all over the counters and it was just terrible. It was all terrible. Definitely cheaper to do it myself. Hi there, I mean. Hi there. Oh, beats. But I did the whole house. Like, this. I've done the whole house. This, it was not just that. I was just showing the kitchen, but like. I added another bathroom, even. Added another bathroom, even. Here, I can just pull it up on here, I guess. Uh, let's see. Where is it? The bathroom. There it is, kind of. Okay. So here was what the bathroom was before. This weird fucking thing. The toilets, the other toilets over here had two toilets. Like this was where the shower was back here behind this door. So it was a whole project, but I turned this into two bathrooms. Thanks Prince Adam. Cause there are already two toilets. How I did that I over back here behind behind this area added another sink and then I walled up this walled up that door tore out this sink added in a shower here to make it a nut to add another bathroom let's see you can see see it that's it now. That's where the other sink, the other sink was here. So yeah, new bathroom, did that, new shower. 
second shower. But yeah, I, I redid it all. Like, here's the new living room. Check that out. Is this stretched? It looks weird. But yeah, that's the new living room, refloored, got a new couch, got that couch off of Facebook Marketplace for a fucking 900 bucks. That was a steal right there. Couches are so fucking expensive. But yeah, this doesn't have, I did a lot of redecorating too since I took this picture, but like, oh my God, compared to what it looked like, holy shit, it was a fucking... is it I mean this was it at the midway point this was after the floors and stuff were already out it looked a lot and painted it looked a lot better then but I wanted the original it was so fucking terrible with the carpeting and stuff. The, it, I mean, it was like that, I guess. It was this carpeting and just wood walls throughout and this carpeting was all so gross. Like, look how fucking stained and, oh my God, everything it is. It was just, the whole house was a disaster. Oh, I turned this into a bedroom. This was just a weird open area. I built a wall and made that into a bedroom. Oh, here, here it is. This, this was the, uh, the living room before. When we got it, that was the living room. The OG. Now, tis these. I've still got a little bit left to do. I've got to do like some trim and stuff, but like it's mostly, and I've done, uh, there's still some more decorating and stuff to do, but yeah, mostly done. What about the hot tub? The hot tub's right here. It's literally right there. Now the hot, the second hot tub, that is, I'm not sure. I might floor. It depends on how many floors are left. I might floor the second hot tub area and make it nice. The greenhouse, that, that's a whole thing. That was a lot, I don't even know. That's, that's a whole project for sure. Cause the glass in the greenhouse is all fucked up and it needs to be replaced somehow. It's a whole thing. It's a whole big thing, man. But in general, OK, 
because what I'm doing now is airbnb it out. That's why I put so much effort into the remodel is now I'm doing, because what I did is I split the house into two separate houses, basically. Like, I built a hallway and a door that's lockable, and I, I sealed up every other door, like, between the two sides to make it just just the one hallway and lockable door between the two sides and then uh added well the only problem is i don't have a kitchen down here yet because there's no water but like i did put i've already got a second fridge down here let's see if i can get it you can see the fridge over there. And that's going to be where over in that corner where the cabinets already are. I'm going to build the second kitchen there. The only problem there is getting the plumbing down here because it's a whole ordeal. Because there's concrete under the basement here. And so there's no way to get a uh, drain. We'll have to, like, we either have to cut into concrete or we all have to just pump it out, get like a little pump to pump it back up. And in general, it's just an awkward and really difficult area to get water to, but has to be done. So. It's not the highest priority right now, though. It's a, it's a solid priority, but like gonna have to hold off on that for a little bit because that'll be tricky. But once that's done, then it'll have everything on both sides. So it'll be a, it already has like separate entrances and separate bathrooms and completely separated and everything so it's pretty cool because Airbnb being it out now looks like it's gonna cover the mortgage completely so basically now that I put in all that work and did it Cause it was a lot of fucking work oh my god so many hours for me to actually finish it out but looks like it's gonna cover the mortgage doing the airbnb so i gotta live here for free basically basically Pretty awesome. I do have to manage the Airbnb though, so that's, you know, something, I guess. Because it is work. Because I do the cleaning too. Since I live here, you know, I'm not going to pay a cleaner to come when I'm literally just down a hall, you know. <laughs> so I I do that too but like it's not that bad it's definitely worth it for the amount of money because this place is in a really 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 good area like the best area possible pretty much in all of Idaho <laughs> Location is everything. And this is literally 
could argue the most valuable land in all of Idaho. In Boise downtown? No, it's on BSU campus, the Boise State campus, like literally on it. There's only like 20 or 30 houses that are actually on the campus. And this property is the biggest, like the biggest piece of land at the end of the cul-de-sac. So yeah. The best, in my opinion. Nothing can beat it as far as like investment potential and that, like nothing. Warm Springs? Why would you like Warm Springs? That's just overpriced historic district. It's not actually like <laughs> no one wants to rent there. People aren't going to know. Nah, it's not that, like, it's not anywhere near as close as, like, literally on campus. Why would you want to be on Warm Springs when you could actually be on the BSU campus where you can, like, see the fucking stadium from where you are. saying my place is a good location well it's the best location in my opinion it's the best like as far as doing as far as investment potential goes nowhere tops it warm springs for owning a house but why warm springs is like the north end they're just overpriced for the sake of being overpriced you know it's like apple the North End and Warm Springs are the apple of Boise. They're super expensive and overpriced just for the sake of being overpriced, you know? It's just... <laughs> it's just about the, the label or whatever, you know? They're not actually practical. I mean, they're not bad areas or anything, you know, but like for for the price and what you get, it's just not worth it. <laughs> it's just silly.
there's plenty of big old houses elsewhere in Boise than there. I actually almost bought one instead of this house. Place next to me for sale, what? My neighbor sold his, like in March. Almost considered. It sucks. I wish he would have waited a little bit longer. He kept telling us he was gonna sell. I wish he would have waited, cause it would have been cool to own both. <laughs> I don't know how I would have gotten that one to you, but some way, maybe. <laughs> but oh my god, there was a house I looked at that I kind of wanted to buy. It was out off. Where was it? It was a little bit out there. Not super far. It was like kind of on the bench, I think. Like the edge of the bench somewhere and holy shit this thing I can't remember when it was built but it was like oh it was so fucking cool but it was just the biggest disaster like this house was an insane amount of work this house but like compared to to that house this house was pristine like <laughs> That house was the most run-down motherfucker I'd ever seen. But, <laughs> I mean, it was like, it was like 5,000 square feet. But this, it, within the price range, our price range still, because that's how fucking beat up it was. And it was the coolest property, too. It was like this big yard, like, over on this hill, like, overlooking everything. Like, amazing view. And just so fucking cool like three stories with this basement it just endless rooms it was so old because so it just had that like endless fucking room structure you know just room after room after room just the basement was like definitely if you ever wanted to film a horror movie like that shit that's the place that was the place I recorded a video of it too because <laughs> it was cool but yeah oh yeah let's see fucking houses man so yeah I did all the remodeling it's getting there it's almost done well depending on your perspective, I guess. But it's like, one side at least is, I mean, it's getting there. You can see down here. It's, it's not bad. It's not bad.
Dun, 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 dun. Not even sure. How do I even know where he came from? Weird. I got a, I think I got a message on uh, Discord, but it doesn't even show up. I wonder if that's because I'm streaming. I doubt it. I don't talk to anyone on Fet. Yeah. <laughs> I've sent like two messages on there or something. Most I ever talk to anyone because, yeah, I never check or bother with that. Somewhere, but it's been a while. I mean, I doubt it. <laughs> Maybe. I don't really chat anywhere, so, you know. The only place I actually chat at all with people is Discord and texts. So if it wasn't there, it was probably just one or two messages at most because I don't know it's just too hard to try and it's way too draining to try and check every fucking platform fucking consistently and then reply to messages Shit, even just keep it. I just realized I gotta remind myself. Fuck, I still haven't replied to that text. There was a text I really. meant to reply to from someone. But I haven't. A tenderism, you yeah, know. A tenderism. That maybe I would make meet up with. I don't know. Who knows? You've seen me on there. I mean, I am on Tinder. I am trying to get out and. And trying to meet up with people consistently, you know, get out on those dates. Get out on those dates.
Oh. I think I do remember you. You mean on you mean on that other platform was where we were chatting, right? The one we're not supposed to talk about. I do remember you chatting with you because that is the other one that I do talk on. Chat with people. Probably, yes. I'm sure it was. I believe, I mean, I, I tried to give you dating advice and stuff, didn't I? And for profiles and all that, that kind of stuff, right? Or is that not you? Are you not the, the farm boy who's like trying to? Date and whatnot. Good. You talked about me not going out because of things? Hmm. There's always things. Those goddamn things and all that stuff, you know? Stupid things and stuff. Like, I'm just trying to sleep. Yeah, if you weren't on live, you would say. Yeah. I know. I'm just joking around. I just honestly can't remember what it was either, though. I'm sure it was something. <laughs> Maybe it was complicated. Who knows? Let me grab another drink. You stay right there, Sandy. Damn. Watch out, little one. By the way, all this remodeling work and physical labor, I've lost over 10 pounds in the past two, two and a half, three months. Not bad.
good, but I think, yeah, I looked good before. I look better now, though. Like, I was bigger than I preferred, and thank you for the follow, Jimmy. But now, I'm a lot closer to the weight I'd prefer to be at. Honestly, I got up to like 138 or something. Close to 140. And that is like way bigger than I've ever been in my life. I don't like I don't like it because all the weight goes to my stomach too. Most of it. But yeah, back down to like 126, I think I was today, which is the lightest, like it's, it, I'm in the best shape I've ever been in. I gained a bunch of weight in general with transition, just because of estrogen. I cannot keep it off. Just gained so much weight and fat from it, but yeah. I'm at like 126, which is awesome. Pretty good for 5'9, so I'm happy with it. Oh, yeah, you just chewing on my button down there, huh? Is that what you're doing? Such a good boy. Swimsuit videos. You know, maybe I should. Maybe I should do a hot tub stream now that I've got my fucking beach bod back, you know. Good puppy. Rip them pants off. He's trying. He's trying to get him off. He's doing his damnedest right there. <laughs> oh, yeah? You just chewing? You just chewing? Get you a little, little teddy bear. Oh yeah, a little teddy. Oh, he's a little teddy bear. Who's my little teddy? I'm gonna give you something else to chew on here. How about ducky? You fuck with ducky? Fuck the duck? Oh yeah, you want some beer? Oh, you want some beer? Holy shit. Oh my god. He likes. Do you really like it that much? Do you like beer? What, you wanna try? <laughs> He's not sure. What? You're not sure? Are you drunk? Are you drunk now? Does kind of seem like he wants it. What the hell? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just to 
כסף. Wasted. Look at him. He's wasted. Look how drunk he is. Condensation. He looks confused. He's only been in this world for ten weeks. He's always confused. Most of the time he has no fucking idea what's going on. He's just rolling with it. Which is awesome. I wish I could live my life like he does. I wish I could be that happy for things and that excited about something that just makes a fucking squeak, you know, and just... If only, right? If only. Look at that. Squeak it. He's on to that and he's just... The rest of the world doesn't even exist anymore. Everything else doesn't. Just that. Pretty awesome life. Pretty awesome. Just because it's cold. <laughs> wow, this is like his new. He's really. He really likes this. Look at that. <laughs> Just getting that condensation. And don't fall. Don't fall. Is it okay? What? Here, let's get you some fresh condensation over here. There you go. All fresh. It's good, right? crash. It was nice talking to me. Um, just send me a message on where we used to chat, Nick, because I will not remember. I'm bad at that. <laughs> I have too many, too many things on my to-do list in general in my mind and like keeping up with them is difficult if someone doesn't 
message me. For that part, especially. Where'd you little squirrel go? Or a raccoon. I'm thinking now that he's a raccoon. You haven't seen me on there lately? I'm on there every single day. I've never missed a day. At the very least, I always check my messages and reply to them every day on there. That's on G. What does that mean? That's on. It starts with a G. That's on. Yeah, I got nothing. For that's on G. Other platform? Yes, the other platform. But it doesn't start with a G. It starts with an O. But yeah. You're welcome to message me on. Yo, he looks like a plushie. Cats are true gods, dude. Cats, huh? What's your problem with doggos? Come on, it's not this. Is not the cutest little thing you've ever seen. Cat can't compete with this. <laughs> okay, bye Nick. Thanks for thanks for chilling. Why are your eyes so goopy? Oh. Don't pull right off. Oh my gosh. Cats cannot compete with this. Are you kidding me? This is a puppy. Nothing can compete with a puppy. I'm sorry. If you think that, you're... You're just... You're delusional if you think a cat can. A kitten? Maybe. Like, obviously. Like, fucking... Babies are designed to be adorable, so nothing <laughs> kills them, you know? Like, this this is fucking adorable. A cat cannot compete with a puppy in the slightest. It's, like, not even on the, not even on the same playing field. It's so far out of there. You're talking about, like, a high school team against a professional team. You know, it's leagues apart. Kitten, they, they, I mean, at least the, the field is a little more level. Still though. This is an especially cute little puppy. I got 
two. Too slow. Interesting name there. The matter. Tack. Interesting name. I can't figure out how you came up with that one, though. Did you come up with that one? Be interested in the thought process there. What are you going for? The mat attack. I'm just some um, wow, I'm just like all around confused though. Like was The mad attack taken. See, so I'd add a 132 to it, or what's the what's the thought process here? I'm just what is the thought process there? Very interested. Names are always fascinating to me. They tell you so much about a person. I will judge someone instantly based on their screen name because it's not like a person, like I won't judge a person on their given name at all, you know, but like you get to pick your, your online name, your handle and stuff. And like, if that's, <laughs> That's the name you've chosen to best represent yourself, you know, online to everyone, to the world. You're like, but you know what? This this represents me. I'm just I'm honestly curious as to why, because I'm not I'm not saying like you can't have a reason or it can't be good, but like why? Because I don't get it. Help me understand why you chose. <laughs> shows that it was taken and you're not that creative like the is it the mad attack like what what are you going for there i'm just i'm really confused like why why that name in the first place like it's it's indecipherable as it is without the 132 added to it right it's like why why are you so set on that screen name that you're like okay it was taken I'm gonna add a it's so good that I'm gonna add a 132 to it it's your gamer tag when you're young I get that I I use my gamer but I mean, like, why was that your gamer tag? <laughs> like, was it supposed to, like, is your name Matt? And it was supposed to be the Matt attack and you misspelled attack? Or what? Like, I'm just trying to understand the process here. How you get to that, because that's the only thing I can see in that name that resembles anything near in English, but like attack is misspelled. So that obviously bothers me and doesn't, <laughs> it detracts from the whole 
the matte experience there. And I mean, matte would be misspelled too. I mean, typically it would be spelled with two T's as well. So just trying, trying to get a air. <laughs> Things we come up with when we were young. You know what mine was? My first screen name ever. All right, my first screen name ever. When I was like, let's see. God, I don't know, eleven or something. probably was Asmodeus but everything was taken for Asmodeus so I had to do it with like a Z and then three S's I think to get that name because I had to do like a Z and then three S's at the end for Asmodeus and the reason I picked that name was because it was from the Red Wall series in, by Brian Jocks. And I was obsessed with the Red Wall series as like a really little kid. Surprised they've never made a movie out of that. But it's a whole bunch of animals fighting and warring and all that. And Asmodeus in the first books at least like the original ones was this like big ass snake that like beat everything basically it was like the an evil evil ass snake and Asmodeus and uh, mythology I want to say Egyptian mythology is like the king of the dead so that was my first screen name as a little kid I had like a, a hotmail I think has no days I think I might have gotten one eventually that had I don't know can't remember I definitely didn't get the original asthma days but yeah he had a clan on COD called 132 you drop the T out of both so you could have the 132 like your friends. Oh, I see. So it is intended to be the mad attack with the T dropped out, but for length purposes, you had to drop 132 or to fit 132 in because length there. So at this point, though, now. Jesus. Why not? Why not do it correct? Like the mat. There's no limit now. Why not just do the mat attack spelled correctly on both? Then it doesn't look like indecipherable gibberish when you're talking to anyone. Because like, even if they say they don't, I'm just being honest here. You are going to get judged by that name and responded to as such. Like people. You're not going to be taken seriously at all with that name, unless that's your intention. Like if you're just a a troll or whatever. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. You can you can go for ridiculous, but like if you actually want to have conversation or anything, uh, we'll just change it now. You can change your name on here on Twitch. There's nothing preventing you. You can just go and change it. You can do it right now. I dare you to do it right now. Change it to something, anything that's better. I mean, you can still do the Mad Attack 132 even, but just add the T's back in. Just add the fucking T's back in, dude. Like, seriously, just do that and it's so much better. I'm serious, like at least then, People can read it and not be like, 
what the fuck is this person trying to say or do or what? Like, can they not spell? Are they, <laughs> like, do they just like putting gibberish? Like, at least change it to that. And maybe drop the, like, I don't know. You drop the 132 if you're not in that. Guild anymore, I don't know. But the mad attack is okay. Okay. Just don't put an X in there. Don't fucking put an X in a name. I mean, numbers in general, no. Numbers in a name are not good. If you're going to do anything, if you really, if like you really, really want a name, throw your fucking birth year on there. You know, like 92, 96, whatever, like at the end. That's, if you have to put numbers, do that in my opinion, if like you're really set on a name. But other than that, Don't put jargon numbers that no one is going to be able to associate with or that's, it tells no one anything about you. Like what does 132, like the whole point of a name is to like describe yourself, right? especially if it's online. Like the point of that is to give people a first impression of you because it's the first thing they're gonna see that describes you in some way. And what is 132 going to mean to anyone? Like at least if it's say 92, they're gonna be like, okay, that person is 30 or 31 years old. You know, like it tells them at least something about you, right? But it's better than, than 132 at least. But yeah, put a little effort into your screen names, in my opinion. Like at least pick I mean, the mad attack is fine, for sure. But spell it correctly. <laughs> spell it fucking correctly. And if you're gonna do that, or, I mean, just, it's not that hard to do a screen name. Just pick something you like. That at least tells, you know, like, one of my regulars here, the only reason that he became fucking, like, one of my regulars is because of his name. And his name was Ender for Hegemon. And it just so happens Ender's Game is my favorite book ever. The one I grew up on and like loved as a kid so much and stuff that influenced me and all that. And like, you know, we started talking because of that, because of his name, even though it's slightly obscure, not a lot of people <laughs> read that as a kid I mean but yeah I mean it's certainly not Harry Potter but yeah it uh started a conversation and it told me a lot about him though like okay wow he's instantly I liked him and respected him a lot more just from the fact that he had that as his name because it told me he could at least read, <laughs> you know? Do I like Harry Potter? I mean, I do. I played too much controversy. I lost a lot of, I lost a lot of viewers over it, but I played the new Harry Potter game. There's a lot of people in general angry at me over playing that. A lot of people or playing Hogwarts Legacy on stream.
For real? Of course. Because of all the trans controversies and whatnot surrounding it. Yeah, I know so many people were so fucking pissed off about that. Stop chewing on my pants, please. I'm just trying to distract him here for a little bit. So he stops chewing on them. He forgot about all that. Yep. It was a whole ordeal, man. I guess. I mean, I, I always... Uh oh He's okay. It was a big deal at the time. It was. It was a huge deal. Oh, but really stupid. In my opinion. That's where I stood. My general opinion was that's not the right time or place to protest something. It's fucking dumb because J.K. Rowling was not involved in the game at all and like you shouldn't punish the developers and the artists and the programmers like the hundreds and hundreds of people who worked for years on that game because of one person's fucking tweets like that's ridiculous who had zero involvement in it at all and the game itself had a trans character and was trans friendly like to <laughs> Boycott that is fucking stupid. I'm sorry, that's just stupid. And I will die by that, you know? I will die by that. That's just. <laughs> I'm all for trans rights, obviously. I'm fucking trans, but like, that's, that's not how you go about it. You don't protest stupid fucking shit. If you wanna protest something, like, there's tons of actual things happening out in the world that are fucked up and bad. Not, not that. That's not where you, the internet should decide to take its stand. But yeah, apparently that's an unpopular opinion. And I got tons and tons of unfollows and hate messages and all that for that opinion so <laughs> that's because people don't bother to actually think about it or listen or read or any of that they just see bullet points or whatever like oh she's playing Hogwarts legacy or she hates trans people or whatever just make assumptions rather than you know just critically thinking about something in the slightest hard for some people I guess the differences I won't judge someone though for or be angry if they choose they chose to boycott it you know they choose not to play it for whatever reasons fine I don't give a shit <laughs> why would I care it's a fucking video game seriously Oh yeah? You got that one squeaking?
Do I have an in ear and Audi belly button? I have an Audi that's about st you know, eight to 10 inches on a good day. Life is far too short to be like that. Just enjoy your time here. And do the things you love. It's true. It is very true. And honestly, sometimes I just, I get baffled by the people who get so worked up over so much shit. And I don't get it. <laughs> Like, and it's not exclusive to, like, any political affiliation. If anything, it should be the way <laughs> we should be able to all come together is just that there are fucking idiots and extremists and fanaticists on both sides who just blindly follow bullshit and take that you know one person said hogwarts legacy is the fucking devil and anyone playing it is terrible and then a bunch of fucking sheep followed along and you know it's the same on the right too a bunch <laughs> a few fucking idiots said trans people are the devil there's no science they're Teaching that stuff in school is going to turn all the kids trans and gay and all this shit. And it just has no basis in science or reality whatsoever. And they, they don't care to actually look at science or facts or studies or anything like that. They just blindly follow along, you know, and just get all upset over nothing absolutely nothing over shit that's helping your kids and teaching them the shit that you're too much of a old ass idiot to understand but hey it is what it is it's American honestly it's America is really at fault. The USA is so at fault. Our media and our culture in general is just so antagonistic. It just breeds that antagonism and just hatred, whatever, towards anyone else you can see it in our in our history especially don't even teach about I remember seeing a study that like it was absurd it was like 50% of fourth graders couldn't point out the United States on a world map which is insane, isn't it? If you think about it, like it's a big fucking country and it's it's really easy to point out. It's not like trying to pick something. It's not like trying to pick out <laughs> something small. Like it's fucking easy, right? And at that age, they can't point that out on a map of the world. Like that just shows how fucking like nationalistic our society is that only the the u.s is number one right that, that we're just the best and everything nothing else fucking matters our opinions are the only ones that matter like that's just what kids are taught and it's garbage you're British and you just moved to Australia and you feel like nothing like that happens in either place. The U.S. is just nuts to you. I mean, yeah, I mean, obviously this is the only place that that shit happens in because 
Like, <laughs> it does, like, there, there was a lot of shit that happened in the U.S., right? I mean, it was, especially in, like, the 40s and, I mean, even really the 20s, Industrial Revolution and then, you know, the atomic bomb and war and, like, controlling it through military strength, building an empire, the way the U.S. was, like, very open to patent law. It attracted, like, tons of the best scientists and innovators at the time. And, like, all this shit added up to, like, becoming, like, by far and away, you know, the, the biggest, the most money in the world, right? Like, it, that's that's how it worked out. But, like, since then... All that's happened is a slow decline since basically, you know, the, <laughs> I mean, it's debatable. There was the tech boom and most that's here, but now everything's really globalized with all that. And it's just, it's obviously on just a decline, a definite decline because Everything has gotten so convoluted. Tax law is insane here. How complicated it is. Like, there's too many laws. Fucking Congress is just bloated. Can't pass anything. The goddamn uh, filibuster. Why can we not get rid of the filibuster? It's the stupidest thing that's ever existed in all of history. The fucking filibuster. But yeah, it's, it's like just all going down. But instead of actually recognizing that, like if the U.S. could just recognize that and be like, okay, it is like maybe we could, we could fix it, right? But it's everyone is just in fucking denial. They're like, nope, because all it's taught is just the U.S., the best, number one. Our opinion is the only one that matter. Everyone else is shit, and you know. How's it gonna get fucking fixed? <laughs> oh my gosh. De Lynch for real. With a party of 90. Oh my goodness. D Lynch. What is up, my friends? What is up? Say hello to little, little puppy. How am I? I'm, I'm okay. I'm getting there. Getting a little, little drunk and into it. Got my little puppers. Oh yeah. Long day. You could say that. More like a long fucking couple of months. <laughs> yeah. Long couple of months. Holy shit. Life has sucked lately. It's been a lot of hard work, and this is my first stream back, and like. like two and a half months now so working on getting back working on it got my new puppy he's definitely a handful Cute, isn't he? It's fucking adorable. If I could choose any place to live, where would it be? I mean, I don't know. It's a hard question. If you're saying any place, it's a different because any place that I could live right now, I mean, like, it's here. Or I wouldn't be here, I would move, you know? It's not that hard, like anyone can move. You just, you get up and you leave, right? 
you can get money for a plane ticket or a bus ride or whatever. But like any place that I I could be born, God, almost anywhere in Europe. I wish it would be so much better. Holy shit. Australia would be great. Fucking. <sighs> like, I like Japan and South Korea in some ways, but in some other ways, they're also kind of fucking crazy. And I don't know if I would like being raised there because they have some crazy fucking. Some of those Asian just beliefs and like stuff is a little intense, you know? Where it seems like it'd be, I mean, stressful, I guess. <laughs> right? There's a reason Japan has a really high suicide rate and stuff. What's his name? His name is Samael. Sammy for short. Or Sam. There you go. He moved across the country and it was really tough. What country and why was it tough? What was tough about it? Ooh, we need more, huh, Sammy? You want some more? Oh yeah, a little rap. The USA. You moved from California to PA. Holy shit. You know, I when I was a kid, I used to live in Pennsylvania. I lived in Hazleton. I don't know if you know where that is, but that was up there from like seven to nine or something. It wasn't very long. My parents hated it. And I probably hated it too. There was like a ridiculous amount of snow and they can handle it <laughs> mountain town that's rough yeah it was i mean like there's pictures of when we lived there it was some ridiculous snowstorm and it was like a two-story house and like the the second floor looked like the first floor. That's how much snow there was. You know, like it was like over 10 feet of snow. It was ridiculous. It was, that's why we, that's why we got out of there, I guess. I didn't mind it though. I loved sledding. <laughs> I remember I used to go sledding with one of my neighbors and they had like this field that just was like this massive field after like a hill and then they had you know just acres and acres of property and I remember one day it was like I don't know what happened but it froze like just right I guess or everything conditions were perfect and you could sled down it and you would go for like, like I don't, I don't even know, it was insane, like half a mile or something. Like it was, you just never stopped. <laughs> it was crazy. I remember it was the best time sledding I ever had in my life and kept trying every time like to recreate it and go back there and everything, but it was never the same. Never go as far as that one time.
it was just like perfect. Definitely my best sledding experience ever as a little kid. I don't know. Ice? I mean, I, I guess. I really, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't understand the science or question it that much, I guess, when I was just a little kid, but fuck. Sure did enjoy it. I'm okay with leaving Pennsylvania though too. My dad used to have a rental kind of near there. He used to ride quads and stuff. Yeah, I know, like it was it was a really cool setup. Like they had they had a bunch of people on four wheelers who would like pull the sleds back up and give the people rides back up like they had a whole system you know it was like a it was like a hardcore sledding experience you know like you couldn't just walk back up by yourself like it was like a ridiculous hill <laughs> you had to get a ride back But yeah, that shit was fun. Holy shit. It's like a eight or nine year old. That was like time of my life, you know? <laughs> and I remember it too because his name was John. And he's still... He was my friend and he's still the only person I've ever known or, or been friends with who had the same eyes as me. He had the same color eyes, which is crazy because these are, my eyes are like, I don't even know the odds for these specific colors, but it's fucking. For, it's probably close to like one in several hundred thousand, if not one in millions for the specific form of heterochromia plus the colors. But he had one green eye and one brown eye. Just like me. Still never met anyone else who had that. Never even met anyone with the, my heterochromia, let alone the same colors. The weather here is so shit to deal with when you're an adult though. Yeah. That's probably why my parents left. <laughs> probably is why we moved away. Ha! Back to Indiana. Oh no. You lost it, baby. Barry, thank you for the space fuel. Oh yeah, he's humping it. Look at him go. Were you humping it? You still humping? I think he was. Now he's just shaking it. He's tearing it up. I think this is a raccoon though. I was calling this a squirrel, but this is a raccoon, isn't it? I'm looking at it now. It's definitely a raccoon. Right? It's gotta be. The eyes. 
But I mean, nothing's green, right? So that was throwing me off. And the tail could be a squirrel, but like, I think it, and the ears have been torn off, so that kind of was a problem because they tore the ears off. But yeah, I think it's a raccoon. What type of pup is he? You can't, you can't tell. It's a little Yorkie. A little Yorkie pup. Look at how cute this thing is. Oh yeah? What? The raccoon. He wants the raccoon. Thank you, Crispy2001, for the follow. Anyone have any questions? Oh, you like this. God, you like. He really likes fucking paper towels and <laughs> tissues and stuff. Those are. Why does he like those so much? He loves tearing them up, I guess. Just his, just his jam. Let's give you a little duck. Does he have a name yet? I'm going with, um, Samael. Going by Sammy. Not Samuel. Samael. It's from. Because I don't think you should give a dog a human name. So, Samael is from. Eh, various mythology. Christian mythology. Sort of. It's like a. Well. Unclear, but you know, kind of, kind of means like, well, no, Samael with an. Here, I'll type it. Maybe. Samael. Like that. There's various, I mean, there's various interpretations of it, but it basically means king of all the demons. Some kind of interpret it as meaning like Satan or Lucifer or whatever. You know, traditionally considered the angel of death and the husband of Lilith, arch enemy of Michael, the archangel. Archangel. So yeah, I gave him a lesser known mythology name because I thought it was cool. Samuel. This looks like the king of all demons, right? The angel of death right here. Like if this isn't the angel of death, I don't know what it is, right? <laughs> Clearly. Angel of Death is getting sleepy. Straight up killer vibe. Raccoon will be first. 
It's Rakakuni. Rakakuni. Do you guys see everything everywhere all at once? If you haven't, you should watch it. Because Rakakuni is fucking hilarious. Barry Nelson with the fucking Zenny. You cast a little Zenny? Oh, I need to make it new. I need to make a new look for him. And the hair, nice. God, I like that emote. Someone else made that emote as their own emote. And I stole it. Because <laughs> someone else made an emote of me, and I was like, I'm stealing that. Mine. stolen good spiel clip what do you mean good spell clip did I ever make a discovery slash community box I used to do those back when I was in them the Trovo whatever bronze and that stuff all that jazz. I used to do discovery boxes regularly. I just noticed today too, which is weird. I didn't know there was clips on Trovo, but like, cause all my clips, I guess, apparently were deleted. A clip. I don't know why it's still there though, but a clip someone made of me, and I'd never seen this, it was like a year ago, has like 400,000 views or something. I just saw it today and I was like, what the fuck? And it's the only clip that was saved. So it's the only thing that came up when I looked in my page. I was like, oh, this is the first time I've streamed in a couple months and I was like, what the fuck? Why? How do I have a like 400,000 view clip? Why? It's random. Didn't know someone did that, apparently. There, whole video in chat is a little custom spell with King Alexer. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I made it. Because someone else made it out of my, they had made an emote out of my, out of that clip. They got that clip of me streaming and then I stole that clip <laughs> that they made an emote out of. They sent, well, yeah, I stole the emote. So, like, you know, it's pretty good. Hi there, Singy Zero, what's up? Hello there, Walter White. What's up? 
Mr. Breaking Bad. Did you see um, Aaron Paul and uh, God, what's his name? Why well, can't I remember his name right now? I'm a little drunk. Aaron Paul and uh. Say Ben. It's not right. Um, God. You know these names, Barry. Don't lie. Everyone knows Breaking Bad. Uh, ah, Barry. God, what's his name? Why? I'm just too drunk. This is. Stupid that I can't remember it. Brian Cranston. I was right with the brr. I was like, I knew it. Brian Cranston. Aaron Paul. In one of the newer Always Sunny episodes. Shit was funny. <laughs> Shit was funny. I love when actors parody themselves. The Netherlands and Holland are the same place, though. I did not know that. Is that true? I thought the Netherlands was... Fuck, I don't know. The Netherlands. Informally Holland. Holy shit. I did not know that. And Amsterdam is the capital. Well, what the fuck? I seriously always thought Holland was a different place than the Netherlands. I did not know that. I thought Holland was like fucking Dutch or whatever. You know, like a... I don't know. I thought it was just like another goddamn country. You know, I did not know that was... <laughs> the same place. Holland is two provinces in the Netherlands. So they're kind of like um, Wales and the UK. Actually, there's like four countries in that fucking country, right? There's what? There's Wales, England, obviously. Then, like, Northern Ireland, and then... What's the other one? Northern Ireland, England, and... Fuck, where is it? Scotland! Yes! Scotland. Spacing on that. I'm a little drunk. Normally I would be able to nail all this stuff, I promise. See, I got Northern Ireland. Northern Ireland's the hard one. And I got that one. <laughs> but I missed the easy one, Scotland. Because I'm drunk. <laughs> How tired he is. I don't really want to. I'm relaxed drunk. Do not come across like that while I'm drunk. Uh, 
I'm always chill though. Let's see, 3.4 million results come up for Netherlands. Let's see how many come up for Holland. Wow, 1.5 million. Much less. What about Dutch? 3.1 million. Interesting. Less than the Netherlands. What about the United States? How does that? Let's see how many. Fourteen point five million. What about United Kingdom? Why doesn't it, it doesn't list a number? This is well, why doesn't it list a number all of a sudden? What about England? Let's show that. 6.2 million. All right, there we go. We got numbers, boys and girls. We got those numbers. There is North and South Holland, provinces of the Netherlands. So it's kind of like North and South Korea, right? Or is it more like a um, turkey? Turkey, I know about. That's that's an interesting country where they've got the north part is like chill, right? And the su southern part is like fucking hardcore and Muslim or something, right? No, not like northern South Korea. No, I'm just. I was kidding. I was like. Obviously, nothing in the world is like North and South Korea because North Korea is the most hardcore repressive dictatorship in the fucking world by far. Nothing really compares to it. And South Korea is not, I don't know, I wouldn't say like progressive, but like they're definitely not not progressive, right? They're, they're not at like the forefront of progression, but at the same time, they're definitely chill. <laughs> chill, certainly compared to a fucking dictatorship, right? They're like on the level of Japan or whatever. Huge difference from the most hardcore shit in the world. More, more like East and West Germany, right? Look at this little cutie. Oh my God, I woke him up. Dutch is almost like Deutsch or German. Is it really that close? Is it as close as like Russian and Ukrainian are? Neighboring kingdoms joined Holland. They fought the French and Spanish together. The golden age. Richest country on the ground. The birthplace of stock exchanges. When was this? Was this like the 1600s or something? This was like a long fucking time ago, wasn't it? 1700s? I feel like it definitely had to be a long time ago. 
late 1600s. Damn, I'm good at fucking guessing, huh? How smart am I? Oh, he almost fell. <laughs> he fell asleep and almost fell. Because I know nothing about this. I'm just guessing. You know what I did watch recently? That <laughs> obviously it's not historical. But at the same time, it is slightly historical. Is the Great on Hulu about Catherine the Great, and it's an awesome fucking show. If you haven't seen it, but damn, that gave me some. Obviously, it is fiction, but it did give me a lot of insight still into uh, seventeen and. 1800s. History. Good guesser then. Then again, guessing comes from previous experience and knowledge and good. I mean, yeah. My guessing comes from a solid knowledge base, right? Usually my guesses, even though I know nothing about the subject, are like not too far off. Which is why I will argue with people about shit that I know absolutely nothing about. <laughs> Just because I feel like it sounds right. Because you know what the crazy thing is? Usually it is right. Even if I know nothing about it, usually, usually it's right. And like if someone shows me something, like they're like, nope, here's, here's an actual fact and I've got proof, I'll be like, okay. Yeah, you're absolutely right, but you know, until you do that, I will fucking argue with you on it gladly. I'll be like, nope. Pretty sure this is the case. So if you want to be me, better show otherwise. Bring your fucking references. think that's the case yeah dude look how sleepy he is look at this do I use prism or streamlabs I've never heard of prism but I use streamlabs streamlabs I don't know why TikTok isn't allowing me to. Stream them. Oh well. Look how sleepy this guy is. Puppies are so ridiculous. Like he's just so, so much of the time he's just so hype, so into it, you know, he's just like, can't fucking stop him. 
so hype, just wants to play, just so excited about everything. Then all of a sudden he's just, boom, out. Like, look at this. He's just fucking out. Like, I can do, look at that. He's fucking out. <laughs> he just passes out. Just passes out. Prisms what you use since you dropped OBS. Has all the chats in one multi-streaming the standard. Both on phone and studio. Do you have to pay for it too? Or not? Hey there, Crispy. He is a nice little puppy, huh? Prism is free. Is that new? Let's see. I've never even heard of these. Like, what is Africa TV? Naver TV bands? Naver shopping? I'm guessing it doesn't have TikTok integration. I've never heard of this, but you know what? Is this section safe? Fuck. Did I try it? I don't know. I pay for Streamlabs. Does it have the ability to use custom ingest though? So I can add things that aren't integrated streaming locations with stream keys and that stuff because I stream to like random shit that isn't integrated here too like uh tiktok and kick and stuff Not name or password, it'd be like custom ingest, which would be like stream, stream keys, you know. Use the URL and stream key. Stream key and Mr. Rollins, our team has that too. Let's see, six. I streamed a one, two, three, four, five, six. It said its maximum was six, so that would work. Because I do Twitch, Facebook, TikTok, Trovo, YouTube, and Kick. Those are my six. 
I used to stream to some others do, but I dropped them. I used to do D Live. Maybe I should stream D Live. I downloaded Prism though, fuck it. I mean, I pay for Streamlabs. It'd be cool if I found something. I didn't have to. It's popping up and nodding. Oh, they have an English option though. Popped up in fucking like Mandarin though. Senior Trovo, kick YouTube, Facebook. What is Rumble or Odyssey? I don't even know those. I don't do those. I've never heard of those. Maybe. I mean, I don't mind trying platforms, but they have to have a appeal to American in English speaking audiences or else. There's not much point, right? Like Trovo even is a I like Trovo. But it's also Definitely not catering towards English speakers. Which is okay, because it's popular enough and there's enough there that it's okay. Trevor is your favorite at the moment. It was there for a while because I was banned on Twitch. For a long time, I was banned on Twitch and Trovo became my main platform. I was always advertising Trovo mainly and all that. But it's gotten a lot. I got a permanent ban in Twitch. I was banned for like a year and the only reason I got unbanned is they created a new portal for reading unbanned requests because I would send them one like every month I would send a new email or whatever support ticket protesting my ban because it was fucked up. <laughs> They banned me, like, I don't know. I never recovered, though. They banned me in the height of my popularity when I was getting, like, two or 300 viewers every night doing hot tub streams and making a lot of money. And they banned me, and I just, like, I don't know. Never recovered when I they unbanned me either. Been too long and things are complicated, right? Gotta do other things. Subs and bits. I mean, you get more of your revenue on Twitch than you do on Trovo. <laughs> Trovo kind of screws you a lot. 
is one of my detractors from that. At least on Twitch, they with the bits, they give you most of the revenue. On Trivo, though, when you spend gems, it's still 50% cut. Like on Twitch, the bits, though, you get closer to like 80 or more percent even obviously on subs you still get a few percent but like not on bits you're just talking about subs on bits you get like 80 to 90 percent always been that way for everyone when it comes to subs and advertising revenue it's lower, like 50, but like Trovo doesn't have ad revenue either and stuff. Like back when I was doing the hot tub streams and I was getting big, I was getting like 10 to 20 bucks per night just from ads, which is big. Like it's obviously not going to make you rich, but like that adds up, right? If you're assuming it was like an average. 10 to 20 dollars per night from ads that's still you know like five or six thousand dollars a year that's not nothing whereas you get zero from that on Trovo and no you're you're talking about Barry Anderson you're talking about Sub revenue. That's totally different. That's the whole argument you're talking about there. Compared to bits. Bits, the whole point is most of it goes to the streamer, which it still does. It just. That's a whole different thing, which hasn't changed. It's the equivalent of gems on Trovo, and gems on Trovo are just 50%. Always. But on Twitch, at least if you give in bits, it's like 80 or depending on the deal you get or which platform you're using it's lower if you're using mobile for example but like 80 percent plus which is way better because you always get that yes i know that because i've i've seen it <laughs> you can you can go check it yourself because bits are a very direct translation one bit is one cent, you know? 100 bits to a dollar. It's the exact same as currency, so it makes it really straightforward. You just, you only have to pay a little bit more than, you know, instead of paying a dollar for 100 bits, you pay a dollar 20 or a dollar 30 or whatever, you know? But it's basically, they have that option which makes it better in my opinion it's dumb that gems in Trovo translate at 50% that's that's a scam and honestly one of the big things holding them back that's held them back from getting bigger because it really dissuaded me from everything because like when I had big donors and stuff it's like they do it in bits and or in gems and it dissuades you because 50% is just that's too much of a fucking cut taking 50% Twitch takes 30% from initial purchase bits speed bitch to stream initial yes that sounds about right it depends where you buy it from Barry and how big of a package you buy it in but yeah it can get lower than 30% for sure but yeah just in general like the fact that Trovo doesn't have an option that's below 50% like 50% is its best option is not great it should have a better option than that Hello there. This is me. Ooh, 
Look how tired this little pup is. Kick is 95% revenue now. Wait, did they? They added a way to monetize it? Bug. Back when I was streaming on it, they didn't have a way. When I was doing it, oh my god. I felt so bad too. I fucked up on kick so badly. Fucked up so bad there. I was doing a hot tub stream on kick and fucking train wreck. Raided me or shouted me out or something, and I had like I had like over ten thousand viewers on kick, and like right as it happened, my fucking <laughs> stream crashed. I had ten thousand viewers, and my stream crashed. <laughs> like literally, right as it happened, it was like s the stupidest fucking thing I've ever had. But yeah, that happened to me on kick. <laughs> it sucked so bad. It was like, just as it happened, I saw the number, like, <laughs> it was going to that, and before I was like, what is happening? And then right then, it fucking, I fucking, it was my fault too. Like, I, freaked out a little, I think, and I, I pressed a button I shouldn't have while I was in the hot tub trying to use a wireless mouse. <laughs> Fucking shut it down. Look at this guy. Look how sleepy he is. Oh my god. He's so, oh. He woke up briefly. Back to sleep. In this game. Oh my god. Is this not the cutest thing you've ever seen? Look what I can do. It doesn't wake him up. I can just move his arm around everywhere. Doesn't even budge from his sleep. Look at that. <laughs> he is just out. Pretty fucking cute though, right? Sleepy Sammy indeed. Speaking of which, It might be time for me to go be a sleepy Sammy like him too. Early in the morning, it's 2.30 a.m. for me. And I've been drinking a good deal. Oh 
look. I made his leg go. Look, his leg is going. And he's asleep. His leg is kicking. I'm not doing that. That's him. His leg was involuntarily kicking while he was asleep. Because it felt so good. He's still asleep. He's out of it. It's 10.27 a.m. for you, huh? Are you up early or up late? Up super late. <laughs> oh, look. His leg's going. Look at that. I'm not doing that. His leg's fucking going. <laughs> His little leg felt so good. It was just kicking. Since 5 a.m. So you are up early. I downloaded Prism though. The lab it. Here it is. I have the installer right here. All right, so. Oh my God, I have to pee. So bad. And in general, I think I need in. Maybe I'll do a hot tub stream. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe I'll do a hot tub stream tomorrow. We'll see. I wanted to do a stream with little, little Samuel tonight though. For my first stream after a very long break. Now that I have some more time. But yeah, I have to pee so bad. Whew. And really need to go. First blood and arena win? What does that mean? Okay, I have to pee. At the very least, I have to go pee. Be right back. Sorry, Sammy. Sorry, little guy.
this little guy. I really do need to. I have Prism installed though. We'll see. Uh, Twitch. Sure. Hmm. Why you gotta be such a pain though? a ridiculously long one. Mm. How about we just sign up this email? Prism Live Studio. Let's see. Hmm. I don't know though. Doesn't have integration for Trovo or anything. Does I have Twitch YouTube and Facebook? We'll see. Perhaps I shall play it around with it a bit. Okay. Say good night, Sammy. Which you added for VR too. Yes. Twitch was integrated, I thought. Well, shit. Yeah, no, I need. I don't know about that then. Because I need one that integrates with them all. At least the main ones. I need to be able to view all the main ones in chat, you know? I want to be able to view chat with Twitch. Trovo, Facebook, and YouTube at the very bare minimum since um, Restream.io can do that as well. But yes, good night, guys. Thank you, everyone, for chilling. Oh, don't fall. And saying hello to my new little puppers, you know. Because I love him. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Barry. Sammy will always keep me awake. 
He's just a little puppy. He gets energy. He doesn't know what to do. But yeah. Good night, guys. Maybe I'll try. Maybe I'll try out Dipstream tomorrow or something. Perhaps so. Since I have lost all this weight. Good night, guys. Hi.